Hello, folks. Ha ha. Clay. Clay, I've got here uh, one and a half, no, two and a half pound lumps. Two and a half pound lumps of clay, and I'm going to make. I'm going to make some pictures. I've got one, two, three, six, or seven lumps there for now. So I'll put them down here, close to where I am working, and. I'm working on a leech treble wheel. I've got my tools here ready in front of me. Get yourselves organised before you start work. Clear the decks. You know, get rid of anything that's not necessary. You don't want it there. It's just going to get in the way. Um, I've got my toolbox here close by, ready to hand. Ready at hand. And um, yeah, I've got my my mirror mounted on a lump of clay, so I can have a sideways squint at the profile of the pot that I'm making. That's actually quite important, isn't it? That we we see the profile of the pot as we're actually throwing. Um, what we usually do as well, of course, is we bend over, don't we? And we we have a look from the side. But if you have a mirror. It will help you enormously. If you're not thrown with a mirror, I recommend you give it a try. You might be surprised. Right, so let's just focus down here on the wheel head. I've got to get myself into like a, a, throwing, a throwing frame of mind here as I work on these jugs. Um, yeah, as I say, they're two and a half pounds and they are I'm going to throw them actually this is not what I would call a wide bellied jug but it's rather a more taller form of jug and that's because I've got some space in the kiln which I need to fill with some shapes that are um, of a taller nature uh, I seem to have rather a lot of stuff which is low and flat and I've got to get some I've got to get some depth there so so let's go center the clay clay seems seems nice Basically, basically you're going to be making a derivation of a cylinder. So, you know, it's making cylinders again, isn't it? <laughs> Can't get away from making cylinders. Well, many shapes are cylindrical in their Sort of origin, aren't they? So I've sort of I've, I've combed it up, I've pushed it down, I've opened it out, I've fed the clay out. So I've got I now I've got my base here, base of the of the picture. And I've got to colour it in. Very important to colour or cone in your work. I think. And I'm grabbing some clay at the base and lifting it upwards. But you'll notice I'm maintaining that conical form. And if you keep it conical like that, as you lift, you'll find that the clay will really move quite fast upwards. And the inside fingers are a little bit above the outside fingers I'm watering you see how I'm watering I'm not splashing the water just haphazardly over the pot 
any more any more than you would open the the, the hood or bonnet of your car and open the filler cap where you put the oil and and just throw the oil at the engine hoping that some of the oil would find its way down into that that little hole would find its way down into the engine you wouldn't do that would you well you can't do that you can't do it with, with a pot either you've got to be a bit specific where you put the water and I always two fingers like that if you open your hand like that separate your index finger from your other finger your second finger place it over the pot like that and then water just there the water will run down both fingers and then you can use a hand like that here just to spread the water okay let's go down to the bottom again we've got to push in a little bit from the outside you see create a bit of a a shoulder down the bottom there and then we're going to take that shoulder and bring it up you see right I've got to concentrate now I've got to I've got to get the shape of this, the form. Checking it in my my mirror. I want to waste it a little bit more there in the middle. some pots out there that are raw once fired they're ready to just about ready to go in the kiln I don't want them to get I do not want them to get rain Still working with this one. I'm not yet happy with the shape. I'm going to bring it. I'm going to bring it in a bit at the top. Not quite, quite satisfied yet with the shape. And, uh, it's important, isn't it, to get the shape of our pots right. Get the, get the. You know, as potters, we're very much dealing with, with with profiles aren't we? I mean as I'm making this pot here my eye is is looking down the the outside shape <coughs> of the pot and I'm making little slight alterations um, of the outside of the outside shape, the outside form I'm very much using my, well, obviously I'm using my eyes. Using my eyes, using my judgment, I'm trying to now I'm using the outside of my throwing stick here just to clean off some of the slurry that that forms as we as we throw the pot
So as you can see, I, I'm looking in the mirror at, at this stage a fair amount. Now this it's kind of got a flared top here, but it, it goes out, but it comes, it sort of goes out, but then it comes back in again at the top there. All right. Okay. You notice the wheel is not going too fast. Just at the right speed. Got a gentle kind of rocking feel to the wheel. Rhythmical. Okay, I think that is. Uh, I'm going to do a pouring lip on that and I'm going to take it and put it now um, on my board. Now, just a little tip here if you throw a pot, say a pitcher, and it's going up and down a little bit like this on the top. I don't know if this one is really that much, but if it is doing that, you, what you want to do is pick the high point, which is here, there I think, there. So let's let's put a pouring lip. Now to do a pouring lip, you simply put your fingers like that because what we're not doing, we're, we're not just stretching the whole of the top and bending it out of shape when we put a pouring lip on. What we're doing, we're only extending the lip, the pouring lip, between my two fingers here, okay? So my two fingers here are basically holding back the rest of the pot from deforming. Okay, so let's. So you've got to. You've got to do this by slight left and right motion like that. Okay, and. There you can see the pouring lip. Right, now the next job is to get this guy off the wheel. So my wire, have it revolving slowly, pull it off, pull it across. Okay, now with dry hands, all right, now you saw I cleaned off the slurry off the side of the pot. Also with some dry, dry hands, on your throwing towel, not your apron, don't wipe your hands off on your apron. Okay, we're going to get it firmly and we're going to whoop, lift him off, he's going a bit out of shape. Isn't he? I think we got him. He was going a bit out of shape then, more than I, more than I really wanted him to. He's looking okay. He's looking okay. So, there he is. He's quite softish. Alright. Put the camera back on the tripod. Let's see if we can, um, see if we can make another one. Um, maybe I will um, maybe I'll just move this fella. Okay, are we in the picture? Good, right.
Let's see if we can do another. I have a thing with this camera whereby I I um it's got a um a viewfinder or you know a screen but the screen if I'm filming you know and I've got the screen out uh, it's, it's losing battery power, you know, to keep the power the power going to that screen. And if I'm if I'm on the wheel here, I don't need to have that. So I try and shut the screen, which may explain why I'm sometimes fumbling around with the camera because I'm trying to shut it. Okay, let's do another. Lifting up there. You'll notice my thumbs are joined, and that's always a good, good practice. It means your hands are not working independently but your hands, if you join them, are, walk, are working like one hand. Which is what you want. It's a little bit straight at the moment, isn't it, in the form. I, I need to I need to give it a little bit more fullness. Got to learn how to manhandle the clay, haven't we? Got to get it to go where we want it to go. We know the clay's got enough of a mind of its own that it'll go off and do its own thing, don't we? But we've got to. We've got to control it. That's what we're practicing, isn't it? Trying to control the clay. Oh. 
You may think that you're probably thinking that I find that I that it's easy. It's all very well for him, you know. But you know, each pot, each pot is a challenge, isn't it? You know, I, even I, I'm struggling. I'm struggling with the clay. You know, I'm working with it. I'm, you know, I've got to. It's not, it's not a foregone conclusion that the pot's going to come out all right. Sometimes, you know, I'm really having to work with it. Da 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 di di. Maybe we'll have some some different camera angles again. Got a feeling it's just got to be a little bit more wasted, just below the neck there. Just a little bit more neck, you know. Make it a bit more graceful, you know? You don't want a pot that looks like this. <laughs> so, so, so. Right. Well, you saw what happened last time. Now, I don't actually have to pull, do the, um, do the pouring lip, in actual fact. Right now, what I can do is, and I may just do this, um, I'm just gonna get a piece of newspaper, put it over the rim of the pot, we'll lift him off, and then I will, Then I will do the pouring lip. Because the clay is cut perhaps a little on the soft side, which, and when I fiddled around with the top here, you see, doing the, the pouring lip, you know, once the, the, lip, the top like that now is relatively strong, but once I start playing around with it, it loses strength at the top of the pot. So when I, when I lift it and lower down, it, the top of the pot doesn't maintain its roundness, it just starts to go pear shaped. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to just put that on there now. You've seen me do this before. Just a piece of newspaper like that. We're then going to, we're going to just cut the pot off. All right, now you'll see how easy it is for me to lift this off. I'll just grab hold of the pot. Put him down. Let's get the camera there. And you can see what I'm doing. Dee, dee, dee. Okay, there he is. Um, yeah. What I've got to do is, now when you do this, all right, take the paper off carefully. Don't just rip it off. Um, so now, Oh, crumbs, rain. Hang on, folks. <laughs> you see, you've got to be on the ball. You've got dry pots outside, and suddenly you get a shower. You've got to get with it. show you while I'm here. Whew, this, is a, this is a jug. She's kind of the same thing. In fact, it's one that you saw me... Let me just focus down there for you. Hang on. Yeah. 
It's one that you saw me doing, I did it yesterday, I think. It's the one I did with a Spanish. Uh, yeah, you saw me do the, um, with the lemon zester. And this has now been dipped in raw glaze, in, in, in a clay, wood ash glaze. So that is finished, you see. It's ready to go into the kiln. And um, so now if I was to lose them now, after I've done all the work, that would be a pity. So, okay, so you see me getting the pot off the, off the wheel. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this, and I'll try and do this so you can see. Um, So two fingers like that, and then we're just gonna, like this. Sometimes it helps to give it a bit of a, um, like a throat, you know? Maybe this one didn't have quite enough throat, enough. especially after it went out of shape a bit. Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Right, I'm going to just put these so uh, they around the right way. I like jugs to, you know, to look orderly on the board. Orderly. All in a row with all the spouts facing the same way. <laughs> So, um, let me just take the camera off here a second, so you can hopefully get a, a view of that. There you can see from, from above what they, what they should look like. Um, yeah. Okay. So there. A couple of pictures that will be uh, waiting for a handle, of course, but not yet because um, still. Oh, Sheena, what are you doing in here? Come here. Come on. Then. The pottery cat has arrived. Anyway, um, yeah, please visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. Um, we've got tools there. I'm all the time trying to think of doing new things and just keeping it alive a bit, you know. Um, we've got, of course, we've got the leech wheel there now uh, for sale. So if you're interested in one of those, write to me. Uh, you can't buy them directly off the website. You have to write to me first. But that's all. That's all. That's all there. Um, information for you to look at. Okay. Simon Lee saying, keep practicing. Hang on in there. See you soon. Very soon in the next clip. Bye bye now.